first a friend mentioned that I should definitely talk to you. And then I Googled you and I saw that somebody recommended that Jordan Peterson absolutely must talk to you on his oh, podcast. Wow. Um, I think that's it was like honor. a Reddit post. Right? Yeah. Thank you, Reddit poster. <laughs> that's, that's great. And I was like, oh, interesting. Yeah. And then I looked and Jordan hasn't yet. I thought was, <laughs> my goal is for you to talk to, to, to Rogan and, and to Jordan Peterson for, for different reasons, but for the same reason. They get connected to uh, a human being that deeply cares about this earth. And I think that's probably the right lens through which to look at the effects of climate change. Um, in terms of focusing on the different things that are threatening, threatening the diversity of species in this most magical place on earth, which is the Amazon, but also as you will talk about with, with elephants and tigers in India and focusing on how to solve those problems. I don't know if there's any comment you want to make on uh, folks like Jordan Peterson who are sort of raising questions about how much do we really understand about the climate? Yeah, first of all, I'm such a Jordan Peterson fan and I think the guy is heroic for a number of reasons. And I, I find his his use of language and his use of theology and, and the message that he puts out wonderful. Um, I cringe a little bit when he says, I, I feel like, and I, I might not even be accurate on this, but I, I cringe a little bit when I feel like he dis, he dismisses that there is an ecological emergency happening right now. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not talking about climate change specifically, but I've, I've heard him say, you know, environmentalists upset me. And he goes, well, what do you mean by the environment? Everything? And it sort of yeah. seems to outrage him. And it's, and I, I, I kind of agree with him there mm -hmm. because, so are you telling me that we need to halt our global process and, 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 and progress and economies and everything? I don't know. I don't know. And so, so to me, um, I, I don't, that doesn't bother me because he's exploring what the hell are these people talking about? When you say you have, I have, I personally have friends and students and people filling my inboxes. I have young kids telling me that they're, they've become vegan and they ride a bicycle and sometimes they don't watch TV because it uses electricity. And they're, I mean, they're just becoming so, so terrified of, of that they're killing the earth. And so it's this doomsday anti-human sentimentist yeah. thing that we're, that we're evil. It's like, it's almost like a new religion about you're evil. And so to me, I, it almost makes me it, in, a, in a totally different camp where like climate change and the right left politics. And, you know, I, I can sit at a family, I can sit at Thanksgiving dinner and listen to, listen to the, the climate thing, go back and forth. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I'm not even, I'm not even here. And that might actually annoy some people in the environmental field that might feel betrayed by me saying that, but I don't care. Uh, my job and it's not just the Amazon, and and that's one note that I wanted to make is that my career has has taken place largely in the Amazon and also in India, and now a lot in Africa. But it's it's not even just these exotic places either. It's 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 people realizing that you know the salmon runs in Canada and the the butterfly gardens in our backyards that there's biodiversity everywhere, mm -hmm. and it's and I I strongly feel like you know the idea of jungle keepers the idea of 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 stewards of nature and so for me my 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 job my one thing and i i try to tell this to these kids that message me and that my my inboxes are full of this where they go you know the climate is burning and elephants are in decline and tigers and and this and that i'm like, I'm like guys look first of all pick, calm down first of all like mm -hmm. go outside go get laid do something have fun next pick something that you can affect and it doesn't have to be with the environment do something good on earth. Go help somebody that needs food. Go help your elderly neighbor. Whatever it is, practice practice with being effective at one thing at a time. And so for me, like I said, from those early days of sitting there with JJ on the side of a river and going, someone has to protect this. Um, my concern is that we've lost 70% of the wildlife on this planet in the last 50 years. That's a huge problem wildlife maintain the ecosystems. And so I have a very clear cut, very definable, very measurable and provable thing that I'm fighting against. And it's a very, to me, it's a very like small ask. Don't cut down the 3% of the world that has 50% of the biodiversity in it. Maybe let's keep some wild tigers for future generations and because tigers have a, their own inherent right to exist here. That's my thing in terms of when we get to, you know, I get attacked for, you know, you should be a vegan. Okay, 
You show you you have me roll into a village in the Amazon when they offer me spider monkey and you tell me that I should be a vegan and you you see how much they respect you and you tell them that you're a vegan. Like um but no, so for someone like Peterson I think it's actually good that he's first of all telling everyone to make their damn beds and uh and and exploring it through a different lens, you know? He's he's coming at it from a totally different thing and saying, you know, it, are are we just being alarmist here? Are we what I mean again? Imagine if you know. The, imagine if there isn't a problem, and they're then they're making one out of it, and all the implications that that could have for progress. It's like, so I think what he's doing is is perfectly reasonable. Um, there is a podcast though where he's he's it was a great one though where he's he's discussing animal intelligence, mm-hmm. and and I could really see that that you know the human psyche and theology and and religion is so much his world that. Mm-hmm. That the the really the the idea of animals being intelligent was novel and it was and it was fascinating. Yeah, that's that's why that I would love for the two of you to talk. Just I don't know, and I hopefully I'm not out of line here, but he is so focused on the human mind that I think he forgets that there's other life out there. There's this whole do. machine of intelligence, of a kind of intelligence out there. Yeah. Uh, th- th- this entire trillions of species, tiny and big, just crawling, uh, and just moving and everywhere, everywhere. And we're actually part of it. So, like, to look at a human psychology as distinct from that is missing at least some of the picture. Some of the picture. I do believe, though, I would agree with him on that. Humans are unique. Yeah. Human psychology is unique. We just are. But but I also, you know, it's it's he's in such an interesting s- place because usually you have you know, environmentalists who are like, you know, nature 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 and then you and that's very anti-human. Mm-hmm. And then you have the other side and it's like he's 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 on this path where he's he's starting to explore what those like diverse intelligences mean. And that that to me is really amazing because I love hearing what he'll do with that. And I think also on top of that, I think if you're aware of nature, deeply aware of nature, it gives you another perspective on the evolutionary history of humans. Like yeah. It's one thing to be an evolutionary biologist and kind of study it from a like philosophical perspective, and it's the other to really, I think, experience it and deeply know it to see, I don't know, to, <laughs> to, the fact that we came from fish sure. and really be cognizant of that. That's something else. That's like... I don't know, uh, to, to realize that we're part of a computing machine that created intelligence. We're part, we're part of the thing that started bacteria and is now creating AI. 